After spending an amazing time watching beautiful flowers, animals and palaces at Unity Park, now I'm heading toward the Friendship Park of Addis Ababa. Friendship Park is not very far from Unity Park. It is a 20 minutes walk, but I was so tired walking so much inside Unity Park, so I ended up renting a car from Ride App. And this is the ticket counter of Friendship Park. I had to pay like 110 beer to enter. Right after entering, I was very confused. It looked like a stadium and there was no game going on. I had no idea where to go. I decided to follow the crowd. I decided to take the stairs. Right after taking the stairs, I realized that the beauty of this place is about its amazing gardens. This place is filled with beautiful flowers. And we can see the modern part of Addis Ababa from this beautiful garden. Addis Ababa means new flower and everywhere I'm looking here is filled with flowers, filled with beautiful flowers. It's amazing. And this part of the garden is dedicated to yellow and red flowers. It is such a peaceful place. I have this feeling that the sun is going to set very soon. So I'm planning to enjoy my, the beautiful sunset from here. I actually saw a group of people dancing so passionately for their content in TikTok. So people come here for jogging, people come here for dancing, people come here just to spend a good time. It is a very relaxing place indeed. And the sunset view of this place is very much amazing. After sunset, things have started to get dark. I was expecting that someone is going to ask me to leave. I stopped someone who was jogging and asked him if it is safe to stay. He said it is totally safe. Then I noticed that there is something very interesting going on over there. Is that a light show? I think it is a light show. The light show was incredible, the kids had the most fun. Some of those kids start chasing the projection of the goldfishes. I mean, can not blame them, I also wanted to chase those goldfishes. I mean, those are definitely fascinating. Yeah, it looks like a party. And then I found a place with many stages. I was expecting some form of performance over here. But then I realized there is more to the show. I was missing out the water show. I think it is the best part of the show. Different pattern of the water and colors made this place look absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Apparently it is also a very popular place for wedding photo shoots.
when I was trying to find out the exit, I noticed a wedding party. People are dancing over there. It was fun to see. Then I opened my ride app and called my driver. The night of Addis Ababa is more beautiful than day. I was so tired of walking so much today that after coming back to my hotel, I slept like a baby. In the morning, I woke up early and got ready to visit some of the most popular places to visit in Addis Ababa. So I'm waiting for my tour guide. He called me and he said that it's, the roads are crowded, so it's going to take like 15 minutes. My first destination of the day is going to be the University of Addis Ababa. It used to be the palace of Emperor Haile Selassie. The gate of the complex is extraordinary. The Ethnological Museum of Ethiopia is located inside this complex. On my way to here, my driver was telling me the history of Ethiopia. When Italian conquered Ethiopia for five years it, during Italian occupation, they actually built this monument as a symbol that they conquered Ethiopia. It's interesting that Ethiopian people actually kept this monument. It was the palace of Haile Selassie. Currently it is used as ethnological museum. Now I'm going to visit here. This building bears the history of a failed coup attempt from 1960. In that year, a group of politicians and military personnel wanted to overthrow Emperor Haile Selassie from its role. They deceived several ministers and other important political leaders into coming to this very palace. That time, Haile Selassie was on an official tour to Brazil. The coup leaders declared the beginning of a new government under the rule of Haile Selassie's eldest son, but it only lasted for four days. More than 300 people died during this coup attempt. After the coup attempt, the Haile Selassie donated this land to the University of Addis Ababa, and currently it is being used as an ethnological museum. And this is the office room of Haile Selassie. We can also see the clothes he has used during his lifetime. And these are the war outfits that had been used hundreds of years ago. I have been told that they have been used tiger skin to make this outfit. And this line used to be the pet of Haile Selassie. This portion of the museum is dedicated for different cultural aspects of different parts of Ethiopia. For example, this part is dedicated for Omo Valley tribes. This boat represents our famous Aksumite kingdom. Aksum was one of the greatest civilizations in 4th century. And these are the ancient book written in Giz language. These are the replica of the houses of Hama tribe. I saw so many elegant royal clothes. I saw so many instruments of war. Ethiopia was never colonized by European power. They were very good at defending their nation. When I was reading about the history of their wars, I realized that the men and women used to fight together against enemies during the time of war. I also felt like the women of Ethiopia were very empowered. I saw so many different kind of handicraft items and cookeries. And believe it or not, these are Afari houses. People from Afar region used to stay in this kind of houses. And this is an papyrus boat. Bee farming is an ancient cultured practice in Ethiopia. This is the beehive. Different part of Ethiopia had different type of burial practices. And these are different kind of tombstone or ossuary. I am very much impressed by the designs. Those are indeed very unique and beautiful.
and these are the instruments that had been used to write keys on stone. So this is the bedroom of Heidi Selassie. Even I had the chance to see the washroom of Haile Selassie. It used to be the room of the wife of Haile Selassie. I have seen enough of this palace, now it is time to hit the road again. My next destination is going to be St. George Church of Addis Ababa. St. George Cathedral is located in the center of the city. I am standing in front of the St. George Cathedral of Addis Ababa. In the year of 1938, this building was described in an Italian tourist publication as a fine example of European interpretation of Ethiopian church design. In Ethiopian Orthodox Church, you are not allowed to wear shoes inside this church. Now it is time to see what is inside this church. And this is where the Holy of the Holy is located. Every Ethiopian church has a replica of the Ark of Covenant. It is located inside the Holy of Holies. Drum is an important part of Ethiopian church. It is known as Kebero. Every Ethiopian Orthodox Church has one Holy of Holies. It is covered with curtain. There are often three entry points symbolizing the Holy Trinity. The Holy of Holies is off limit to normal people like us. The only deacons and priests can enter to the Holy of Holies. Inside of this church is decorated with so many beautiful paintings from the Bible. Okay, it also has many political pictures as well. Empress Jodhiti was crowned at this cathedral in the year of 1917 and Emperor Haile Selassie was also been crowned in the year of 1930. It has become a pilgrimage site for the Rastafarians. There is a museum just beside this cathedral. Cameras are not welcomed inside this museum, so I decided to opt out. But still, let me try to show you some things that I'm allowed to share with you. Now I'm going to head toward the Entoto Park of Addis Ababa. And it is the highest point of Addis Ababa. From here, I should be able to see the whole Addis Ababa city. I'm excited about it. The road is very, very steep. If you are hungry, you can do your breakfast or lunch here. So I am now at the Entoto Park of Addis Ababa. I believe it is also going to be an amazing place to enjoy the sunset from here, but today it was very cloudy, so I don't think that I'll be able to see the sunset today. From here you can see the beautiful city of Addis Ababa. The decoration of this place and the architecture of this place is truly amazing. I think I forgot to say, to enter to enter the park, you are going to need to bring your passport here. They are going to check your passport before they allow you to get in. They also charge a ridiculous amount if you want to use video cameras, but you can record everything with your phone. Don't forget to bring some coins if you want to use those binoculars. I was super hungry but I had a reservation at a different place for lunch. 
it is the first restaurant of Addis Ababa. So now I'm going to go back to the city center. I have been told that this is the best restaurant of Addis Ababa for traditional food. I'm looking forward to try it out. It is a circular shaped restaurant. The designs inside this building is very traditional. I like this place very much. The interior design is very beautiful. I hope the foods are also going to be very delicious. It was very hard for me to pick the food. Finally the food is served. It is a mixed platter with veg, chicken, beef and whatnot. After lunch I went out to have a cup of coffee. This coffee shop actually had a coffee tree in front of it. Traditional coffee shops in Ethiopia doesn't have a sitting arrangement apparently. This is going to be my first time trying out Ethiopian coffee in Ethiopia. I'm very excited about it. Very strong. Now that I have finished my coffee, it is time to go back to my hotel. On my way, I across the Mercato. Mercato is the largest market in whole Africa. This is crazy. This place is crazy. You can't find anything and everything in this market. There are more than 7,000 shops in this market. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to take you outside of this city of Addis Ababa in the next video.